Good afternoon, Wildcats. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. There is a t-shirt and bracelet order form for Team Blade in the high school and elementary offices, and those are due by February 16th. JV and Varsity Hoops tonight, girls at home versus Hills Academy. Come out and support us. Good luck to the girls. It is a blue out tonight. Um, elementary birthdays. On Sunday, we had Audrey um, Renegar. Yay. High school birthdays. There's none today, but on Saturday, Hunter Pfeiffer. And then staff birthdays, Misty Garad. And now we're going to have Mr. Brown come on here and uh, talk to some of the volleyball gr or basketball girls. My fault. Come on up, girls. I'm going to put Shelby right where you're at. Shout out Bryce and Gavin for their good work today. They played a tough game last night against ACAD. It was a very good competitive game. Well, we have the girls basketball team here. They are 10-2. and two. And they have a game tonight against the Hillsdale Academy Colts. They've played the Colts twice and split those two games. The winner of the game tonight will probably win the league championship. One of the captains is Shelby Briner. Shelbs, how are you? Good, how are you? Shelby, 10-2 and two is a great start to the season. Still a long way to go. But you guys have really had a lot of success so far. Um, you know, what has been... What has been like a highlight? Like, is there one game that stands out or something that you will remember from the first half of the season? Um, the first time we played the academy, I think we played really well, and we beat them by a lot, and it was fun. And then, so what happened the second time? Because they got us the second time. What was different then? What do you think? Our offense was just not it that night, and none of us can make a shot. So that's really what happened. Shelves, um you have so many talented players, and it's a good story with Hallie, and, and I think it was you and Hallie didn't play maybe your sophomore year, is that right? Mm -hmm. You guys came back as juniors, and now you're finishing out your senior year. Um, how fun is it to be part of the team again and, and winning? I mean, it's got to be exciting, right? It is so exciting, and I, I'm glad that we played basketball the last two years because it's really just fun to play in the games and with my bestie girls. Yeah, it's good kids that we have here. Uh, Megan Geyer on camera. Thank you, Megan, for adjusting that. Um, you have Cadence, who's an animal. Um, when I was at a couple of your games, I pointed out to her that it seems like she hits the floor really hard a lot. Like, it's this loud sound that happens when she slaps the floor. Um, is Cadence, is she out of control? What, what do you think about Cadence Jones? Let me hear if I'm being honest, it is really out of control. Um, she, we don't know if she's just going to fall on one of the other players or her own players and break someone's arm or something. But when she does catch the ball and not fall, it usually works out well for us. She can catch it and not fall. Yeah. I've been impressed by Riley McCumber's game. She's very smooth. She doesn't get rushed or hurried. Um, you know, talk about Riley so far this year. How's she been doing? I totally agree. Um, she really hits these three-pointers like when it's really needed, and it's so random. And I get really excited for her. Um, we have been, she's been working on her floater, I think it's called, but it's gotten so much better. And yeah. Shelby Briner is with us from the girls' basketball team. They have a matchup tonight. It's a blue out. The boys are tailgating. Kids are, they're taking this seriously tonight. Like this is a showdown. Do you get nervous for these games? Do you get excited? Like, what's your emotion sitting here at, you know, 1 o'clock in the afternoon? Well, me and Hal were talking earlier, and we were like, usually we get so nervous for these games, but I think we're just so amped up and pumped up that we're not even nervous anymore. I told Hallie at the beginning of the year that the good Lord gave her two elbows for a reason, right? <laughs> Grab the ball. They're sharp, too. Do what you got to do, right? So I told her she should be a walking double-double. She asked me what that meant. A double-double means 10 of any stat category twice, right? So 10 rebounds, 10 points would be a double-double. She's kind of a double-double machine, right? She gets a lot of rebounds. 
Talk just about her toughness. She's been on it, right? And most people think that Hallie's not tough, but if you play against her in practice, she can hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably our best defensive player. I know that's something that you really care about. Um, how did you get that kind of defensive mentality? Well, I'm not really good at offense, so I focused on defense more, and I think that is just what helped me throughout the years. So you focused on it and, and got good at it. Uh, Laura Lamar, we missed for a couple weeks when she was away. Um, she's a sophomore, but she's filling in and giving you some depth. Uh, how's she been coming along this year? She came back from Mexico and really just did her job and did really good. Very proud. I call um, Carly Embach the long arm of the law. Like She can block shots. She She's long and has a lot of, um, what do they call this, wingspan. Thank you, guys. Um, but it's fun to see her play defensively, too, and she's getting better on the offensive end, too, right? Yes. And she's really um, bouncy and quick, and she comes out of nowhere and just grabs the rebound. And sometimes that's really nice because then we don't have to rebound as much. I wish that she wasn't so nice. Like I like, I like Carly. She's very nice. But when you're playing basketball, that's Mortal Kombat. Yes. Like we don't want to be nice. <laughs> we want to kill somebody's soul. Um, I mean that in the spirit of sportsmanship and good competition. Um, Gabby Adams bounced up and down between JV and varsity a little bit, but she's obviously part of the family too, right? Talk about Gabs. Um, Gabby has gotten. I think she is like the most improved player, honestly. Her, what's it called? dribbling skills have gotten so much better. Did I forget anybody? Oh, Ava. <laughs> Ava is like a preseason all-league, you know, kind of kid. She's going to set some records before it's all said and done. Uh, already planning to go to college to play basketball. She is in sight of a very special benchmark, which is a 1,000 points. Only a handful of Wildcats in history have managed to do that. She's going to do it. Um, it could be tonight, could be next week, but before the end of the season, she's going to have a thousand points. And she's so humble. That's the thing about her. She doesn't brag about it. She doesn't really want to talk about it. She doesn't want to take a lot of credit. Uh, but we can brag about her because she's one of ours, right? I mean, it's got to be fun to know. You can kick it out to her, and she's probably going to make the shot. She's probably saved me about four times each game. <laughs> Your team not only plays well, and I, I guess I want to wrap it up with this. And I felt the same way about your volleyball team this year. Not only, not only do you play well as a team and you win and you represent our school, you're good students, good people. You know, they're, they're good community members. They're part of this family that makes Pittsburgh what it is. And I don't know how you can't root for these girls. I mean, they're everything that you'd want a team to be. Good people playing at a high level. Academy tonight, they're pretty solid. Obviously, they're a good team as well. They've got a lot of good kids as well. It's going to be fun. It's going to be full house. Everybody wearing their blue tonight. It's going to be loud. You girls, are, you deserve a, a night like this on this stage too. I think it's going to be super fun. Are you guys pumped or what? Yeah, yeah. Much respect for the Academy. We do not disrespect them. They're good. We respect them, but also we'd like to win tonight, and that's the goal, right? Yes. So on behalf of all the girls from the basketball team, for, for Bryce and for Gavin, that's our announcements today. Thanks to our tech coordinator, Megan Geyer. And I uh, hope you all have a great weekend. Come to the game tonight if you can. It's the Wildcats versus the Academy JV game at 6 o'clock right here at Pittsburgh.